All right, guys, so in this video today, I'm gonna touch on what is one of the main reasons why you're not going to get what you want, why your self-concept still sucks, you still feel awful, and you're not seeing results in your 3D reality, and you're not experiencing any shifts internally as well, because that always comes first before the outside. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. Hey everyone, I am Kim Velez, a conscious life and success coach, and I'm so happy that you're here with me today. I My goal in life is to help you never ever feel rejected, not wanted, not chosen, not fucking loved, and certainly not good enough to manifest the life of your fucking dreams. I wanna talk to you and challenge you a little bit and help explain to you one of the biggest reasons why you're giving up on yourself, why you're not changing your thinking, why you're still looking for these fucking ridiculous quick fixes out there that are not supporting you reprogramming your belief system so then you can just automatically manifest what you want and actually keep it. And the biggest reason is this, is self-discipline. It fucking comes down to self-discipline. When you are changing your thought patterns, it requires self-discipline. That is what reprogramming is. You don't just think something once and then all day long, your subconscious mind is believing the opposite and then you think you're gonna get what you want and you know move off into the fucking glory sunset. If it worked like that, then everyone under the sun would manifest exactly what they want, when they fucking want it, how they wanted it, and they would keep it exactly how they want it. It don't work like that, guys. So you gotta stop fooling yourself and stop doing the old you that is looking for that quick fix that is still coming from the version of yourself that doesn't feel that they're worthy of receiving what they want because what it really boils down to this when you're manifesting life of your dreams a specific person better relationships money success whatever it is you're if you have a belief system that has shown up you have a pattern in your life where you're not able to sustain something, you don't get the desired outcome you want. It comes down to self-discipline. You're giving up on changing your thinking because typically one is, oh, I'm not getting what I want, it's not happening fast enough for me, so fuck it, I'm just gonna give up. I mean, that's what it comes down to. We're not, listen, you're gonna get motivated when you hear my shit. I'm a very motivational, hyped up fucking person. That's how my personality is. And anyone I come in contact with, especially when they do events with me, they can feel my fucking vibe and the motivation that I you know, shoot through the screen. But the reality of it is this, that's not gonna sustain you, babe. My motivation is not going to sustain you. This is where self-discipline has to come into play. Do you know how many times I get up in my life every day and do something that I am not motivated to do, but I understand the long-term benefit of doing it. Every day there's different things that I don't feel like doing. I'd rather just lay on the fucking couch and not do. And sometimes I do that because <laughs> we're human and we deserve to rest as well. But I don't allow that to be the habit because that is not who I am. See, my self-concept is, I get shit done the easiest way possible. I understand that when I engage in certain behaviors throughout my day, I feel better. I like the version of me. I like what I'm creating in my business, in my life, and just me personally. So this is where self-discipline kicks in. You're valuing yourself enough to stick it out despite not getting the results instantly. This is, this is the shit that people have to get away from because if you need the fucking result to show up in your reality right now, this second, you're not in the wish fulfilled. You are still believing you're separate from it and you're still giving up your power and being a victim to your circumstances. You're allowing the fact that it isn't in your reality to control and dictate what you're gonna think, do, and feel in this moment. And we're done with that old way. That old way of thinking don't fucking work. If it did, like I said, everybody on the fucking planet, there's, these channels would not be be around and everybody would be manifesting everything they want and they would fucking keep it and people aren't so why aren't they because self-discipline they give up on themselves they don't believe it's going to happen for them and that belief system is still controlling their behaviors which is why they give up why do you think they say in business success is 80 percent mindset and 20 percent action because it's the fucking truth I have done it in my business 
where I was in the self-concept of, oh my gosh, what if this doesn't work? What if bleh, all these negative stories? And I would go feeling so anxious and nervous and worried that I would engage. I got to be busy. I have to be productive. And I would engage in behaviors in my business that never came off the ground. And every entrepreneur goes through this. I don't give a fuck who you are because it's a process. Your business is a reflection of you. So it's a process of you becoming this new version of yourself, uh, moving from one who is not successful to one who is. So when I stepped into the version of me that can relax and trust and know that all I have to do is spread my message and those that want me will find me and everything else will fall into place, then I became that different version and I acted from that different state. And those actions that I did after becoming that state always work out well for me. So I don't give up on me ever. You should not give up on you ever. You're not looking for the quick fix. My reality does not show me a lot of things instantaneously that is showing me I'm getting what I want in a lot of areas of my life, but I still don't give the fuck up because I have my vision of the reality I'm choosing for myself and I only allow that vision to stay active. That is the one that will be dominant. That's the one that despite what circumstances show, I'm gonna keep bringing it back to me. Now, when this comes to success, when this comes to money, People do this all the time in specific person. They start affirming self-concept. They're changing their story about love. They're changing their story of their person. They're changing their story of money. They're changing their story of success, whatever the fuck it is. And they have not reprogrammed their mind enough yet to have their emotional shift follow. So they're thinking these new thoughts, but they're not believing them. They're feeling all that shitty resistance because we know what resistance is. At least if you watch my channel, you know what it is. Resistance is simply you still believe in the old story versus more than you do in the new story. It's you haven't accepted the new story as your truth yet. So your brain's going to it's going to buck against that. You're over here trying to say, nope, this is who we are. This is what we'll be. And your brain's like, girl, no, the fuck it's not. Remember what X, Y, and Z happened yesterday? Remember every time you've done X, Y, and Z, this is what's manifest is going to pull up all the reminders of your past to support your self-concept and your past experience is tied into that part of your self-concept. So that's what the resistance is. So this is why self-discipline is important that I don't give a fuck, you know, how shitty you feel or how bad you feel or what the 3D is mirroring to you, you have to really understand that there is no one to change but self. All I'm doing is changing a belief system. I'm changing an idea in my mind until it's sunk in enough that I actually believe in this idea more than the old idea. That's what you're doing. That is all we're doing. And then because of that, you shift and then your behaviors change because now you're a different person and then your 3D reality will start to mirror back to you. It'll start even before that. But when you believe it and know it as your truth, it will be constant and constant without you having to consciously reaffirm for it you know, throughout your day. But until then, you have to be self-aware of what your thoughts are and then you do the mental effort it takes to redirect your mind and develop the new skill set of focusing your attention elsewhere. That's all you're doing. So. In this process, most people give up on themselves because they're not getting what they want instantly. If you're not overcoming a belief system and you think something, it'll manifest into your reality because there's no oppositional thinking that is going to override and block you from sustaining it over and over. You're actually going to allow yourself to receive what it is you want. But if you have a story that I, you think you're not worthy to receive it, you won't allow yourself to receive it. You will manifest it right the fuck back out and you'll sabotage it with your behavior. This is why self-discipline is important. I mean, when you look at athletes and their visualization, so they are already in the mindset through their coaching that this is who I am, their, their identity, their self-concept is I'm an athlete. And then they rehearse over, over in their mind the certain play that they wanna do on the field or course or whatever you wanna call it. And they do that with repetition. They don't do it once. They do it with repetition over and over again until it becomes then that for their mind to trick their mind and their mind actually thinks that they've already had this experience. So you're doing the same thing. Now they, they wouldn't be the athlete that actually wins constantly, the ones that do win multiple medals and multiple championships 
if they didn't understand their self-concept and worth that they're worthy to receive it. There's a lot of people that have talent. There's a lot of people that want something. There's a lot of people that work their fucking ass off and train every day for it and they don't fucking get it or they are about to win it or they do win one time and then their self-concept kicks in because now they're triggered because it's in the reality and even though they wanted it, they're like, oh my God, I'm not worthy of this. I can't have this. I'm going to lose it. Like all whatever their programming is, that is their dominant self-concept in relation to it, they lose it. It happens every fucking day. You could turn on the news, you can search something in Google and you'll find a fucking million stories about it. So you are doing self-discipline where you're mastering your mind so that you can run the fucking show. You're deciding who you are. You're deciding who you wanna be. You're deciding what you're going to have and you're gonna decide from that space what you do in relation to this new story. You can be, do, and have anything you fucking want, and your job, your only fucking job, is to get out of the mental mindset that is telling you otherwise. And so this is why you don't give up on you. This is why you persist until it hardens into fact. This is why you persevere in focusing on the vision of you, whether it's success, business, or a specific person that you're manifesting. You don't give up on you. It's not about outside. It's about you and understanding that this is how you're gonna get everything you want. So you don't give up on your vision of your end of what you want. Now, those of you that know me, I say this all the time, and I know it with certainty, I will be bigger than Tony Robbins. Am I bigger than Tony Robbins right now? Not that I am aware of, maybe I am, but I'm just not seeing it. But I don't give up on that. I don't look at my 3D reality and say, oh my God, because I don't have X or Y or Z and compare it to him. I don't need to compare it to him. I already know it's happening and it's, it's there's enough for all of us. And for whatever reason, in my mind, it was easy for me knowing how successful he is and how many people he helps all over the world that I instantly thought, if he can do it, so can I. So I already know that to be factual for me and my life keeps unfolding in that way and it's happening, but I didn't give up because the first two and a half years, I didn't hit the end result where he was at. I mean, it took him fucking well over 20, 30 years. Now it doesn't have to take that long anymore, thank goodness, because the way the world is set up nowadays and the internet and us being able to just jump on fucking YouTube or TikTok and reach people all over the world. But the point of it is, is that just because the end result hasn't manifested in right now this second doesn't mean that I give up on me. So my self-discipline is this is who I am. This is what will be. This is what is unfolding. And this is what I'm experiencing. No ifs, ands, or buts. And I don't care what 3D reality shows me. I don't care if you want to manifest in a certain dollar amount and you don't get it in fucking two days. Who cares? Do you want the fucking shit or not? If you want it, then you'll understand that time is going to pass you by in human form anyway. Ways. So you might as well be internally working on your belief system so that one day you wake the fuck up and everything you want comes in. Everything you want has manifested in your 3D reality. But so many of you lack self-discipline. So many of you don't feel motivated. And because you don't feel motivated, you're like, fuck it. But that's your old story. That you're going to present yourself that way when you're still rooted in the old version of you because why would you do something different that's actually good for you when your old story of you is comfortable and familiar and wants you to stay there of doing things that don't get you what you want, babes. So this is the light bulb moment that needs to go off and this is how you start challenging yourself to say, even if I'm tired, even if this, even if that, I still can change my thinking. We're not asking you to climb fucking Mount Everest or walk on fucking lava, okay? All I'm asking you to do is pay attention to your fucking thoughts, stop looking for the quick fix, trust and know in this process of who you're becoming because you're undoing all the beliefs you have, which you're not even aware of a lot of them because they're fucking subconscious. And you're gonna trust in this process that one day you will manifest it all in, you will have it all. Now it could be tomorrow or it could be in three years, but it doesn't matter, you're going to get it. And in that interim, from the day you start changing your thinking and you decide it's done, and the only reason why it can take longer to materialize or crystallize in your five senses experience of the 3D realm is because you have an opposing story that's still dominant. And remember, Neville said, it doesn't matter if it's one or a million, everyone will come in to aid you to deliver what it is that you desire. So your job is just to stay focused. Your job is to 
shift your thinking and belief system into one where you can have it all, that you fundamentally believe and know and trust in your worth and value, that these are all the possibilities that you can have, that you can be loved, you can be successful, you can gain clarity of what it is that you want to do for your life. You can look this way, you can feel this way, you can be this way, you can have this neighborhood or house in this neighborhood, you can have this X amount of dollars in your bank account, you can have all of it. If you decide that that is what you want and you stay the course through self-discipline of training your thinking to stay dominantly in favor of what it is you want. It doesn't matter if you do affirmations, ask formations. The affirmations, you already set the intention of what you want, so you're that powerful, it will already manifest in your existence. But if you have the opposing story all day that's going to override that, it cannot come in. You won't allow yourself to receive it. And if you do manifest it in because you got enough momentum going, but your dominant story is still that you're not good enough for this or that, you won't fucking sustain it. So don't look for the quick fix. Look for changing you because if you need the quick fix, you haven't changed you. You're still in your old self-concept that's like, oh my God, I can't live without this. I need this in my bank account right now. I need this manner this woman to you know call me right now and tell me that I'm the one and they love me why why do you need that right now this second hmm there's your answer because you don't feel good enough until that happens you need something external to make you believe and think that you are worthy to have this person say this to you or to have this money in your bank account well that is backwards that's what we're undoing through self-discipline of mastering your mind you're doing the self-discipline to change your thinking reprogramming does not happen overnight so give up the fucking illusion and stop listening to people that are selling you bullshit because you need to understand this is just me evolving. Get excited about it because you don't know when it's going to show up. But why would you give up on you? Well, we know the answer. You would give up on you if you don't think you can have it. If you don't think you're worthy of receiving it, you'll quit over and over again. I don't quit when I want something, which is why whatever the fuck I set my mind to do, I always manifest it, period, point, fucking blank. I don't give up on myself and I don't give up on being the version of me that will manifest in and sustain what it is they want. And that's what drives me every day from that version as if I already have it to show up with better ideas. I show up as the person who's already living in the reality where I have what I want in, in my mind that none of this is bothering me out here, okay? I don't pay a lot of attention to the 3D at all. You know, even when good shit's coming and I'm like, oh, okay, but I stopped that a long time ago too where I praised it constantly because it's still keeping you hooked on circumstances and conditions in your 3D. I decide this is who I am and this is what I'm thankful for. I decide this is who I am and this is what I'm experiencing and I'm worthy and deserving of this. And I live in that realm and I become that version of me and I'm excited and I feel all these different things that I didn't feel as the version who didn't have that and believe that they couldn't have it. And when you shift internally, that's when you know it's going to be. You will have it. There is no if, ands, or buts. That's Sabbath state. That's how you fucking know. That's how you really build up your trust in the unseen because of how you understand this is your reality because of who you're being internally. No quick fixes. You're doing this every day the best that you can. It's not about perfection. It's about persistence and it's about self-discipline. You are the only person in charge of your thinking. I cannot go in there and tweak it for you. And motivation always wears the fuck off, which is why the self-discipline will then kick in because you understand the rewards that will be if you continue in transitioning your shitty story of you and your shitty story of any area of your life. Your only job is to change that and everything will come in everything will come in and you won't even fucking need it because of who you're being. That is the piece that people keep missing. If you, like I said, I know I sound like a broken record, but it's so important. If you feel like you need this person to love you the way you want to be loved right now, this second, babe, you are not in the reality where they're already, you're already happily married to them or whatever it is. You do not believe that they love you and want you. You do not, are not the version of you that's in the wish fulfilled because you don't 
aren't connected to that version of you that knows their worth and value that is experiencing that every day because when you know your worth and value when it comes to your self-concept and love your self-concept and business all of it you understand this has to be yours like you don't have the doubts you're you're a completely different person because you believe wholeheartedly in how amazing and incredible you are that there's no fucking way this person couldn't love you, can't see you that way. There's no fucking way you're not going to be successful because what you want is yours. Why? Because you know your fucking worth and value. So uh, please, if you listen to anything, listen to this video, rewatch it a hundred million times if you need to, if you don't, great, but stay the course. It's not about the outside of you, it's about the inside of you. And you're the only one that's in control of that. And stop giving up your power to the people and experiences outside of you that you manifested in right now this second because that was created from the old you. So be real with yourself. Most of you have not dominantly shifted because the ones that have consistently, they're not worried about their 3D dominantly. Like 95% of who they are being in this moment, two moment, two moment, two moment, is not worried about the outside because they just keep, whoo, this is my, already like as if they have it. They are not separate from it. They don't feel separate from it. They don't believe that it's far away and it's maybe if they're lucky, they'll get it. They fucking know it's theirs in the bag. That is what I want you to get to. That is what the work is. That is what the self-discipline is to reprogram the mind. So you become that version because then you're fucking unstoppable.